Kevin. It's been more than a year since Kevin Allen shot and killed his estranged wife and two daughters inside a local Cracker Barrel. Tonight, the victim's friends and family are working together to make sure their legacies live on. They've launched a foundation to support victims of domestic violence. Kristen Volk is live on 5, and Kristen, this organization needs some help tomorrow. They certainly do, Lee. The New Life, New Hope Foundation is asking everyone to dine at any Northeast Ohio Bob Evans tomorrow because the restaurant is donating a percentage of the sales to the foundation. That money will help victims of domestic violence as they transition from a crisis center into their new home. Kayla was my daughter, Rebecca's best friend. They talked about each other constantly. The moment my car found out that Kayla Allen was dead, it was as if he lost his own daughter. They were always together, always talking about each other. The 10-year-old's father fatally shot her, her younger sister, and their mom inside this Brooklyn cranker barrel. It was devastating, absolutely devastating. But the devastation didn't stop Carr from moving forward. Rather, it fueled him. We've been, for a few months now, have been providing financial gifts uh, to women and their children as they move out of the crisis center into their new home. The result is the New Life, New Hope Foundation. The foundation raises money for Cleveland's Domestic Violence and Child Advocacy Center. And in turn, that center helps victims of domestic violence purchase much-needed household items as they start their lives over. When the women leave the shelter, they're going to apartments and they have nothing. They, have, they don't have a can opener. They don't have sheets. Uh, towels. Chris Hansen leads the battered women's shelter at the Advocacy Center, which reports that one in every four women will experience domestic violence in their lifetime. Everybody's affected by it. There, there's people out there that we don't know it's even affecting, and I think the biggest message is to get the awareness out there and, and do what you can to help. Tomorrow, you can help by eating at Bob Evans. All the guests would have to do is bring in their flyer, come out, enjoy a great meal and a great atmosphere, and then present that flyer as they cash out, and then 15% of their check will go to the foundation. Now, this is the flyer that you need to take to Bob Evans. You can get it on my Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash Kristen Folk. Print it out or show it on your smartphone when you dine at the restaurant, and they'll donate money to the foundation. Now, if you are a victim of domestic violence, you're encouraged to call Cleveland's Domestic Violence and Child Advocacy Center for help. Their number is 216-391-HELP. That's 216-391-HELP. Live on 5 in the newsroom, I'm Kristen Volk.